Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about changing your nozzles and there's actually a pretty cool tool out there that um, you can purchase a part for and print the rest of and we're going to talk about that next. Welcome back to the corner. Today we're going to show you uh, how to change your nozzle and a really cool tool that you can print out and purchase a part for and it will make changing your nozzles so much more easier okay now what it is is it's designed by a gentleman named Josh I was um, actually going through Aliexpress the other day and I saw that they had a listing for a two prong hot heat what do they call it they call it a heat lock holder tool that's actually what it's called. I'll post the link down below. It's by our friends at, uh, what is it, Futech that uh, pretty much copy everything. Okay. <laughs> I got clones of everything. This is the final version of the tool that I printed. As you can see, the metal prongs are actually what you buy from the site. Um, and uh, they're about five bucks. And it's AliExpress. I think you can get free shipping but I think that what I got was five bucks and five bucks shipping so basically it was ten bucks for the four prongs and then I printed out the um, the casing myself the actual tool part um, this is done in PLA which is what's recommended and the uh, black parts are all done on TPU so I printed the PLA well I'll actually tell you about that in a second but first let's go over some basics here so this tool was actually created by a gentleman named Josh. Uh, he goes by Aeronautical on Thingiverse. And he posted this. Actually, I remember seeing something like or about this particular tool in the Prusa MK3 forms a while back. And it uh, was this gentleman who hated changing his nozzle because he had to use pliers to hold the heat block and you get marring and damage to it. So he actually invented this. He invented the prong system and he modeled this. Um, and then he actually had a website. Now, on the Thingiverse link, which I'll post below, I was looking at it and it doesn't give a link to his website. So if I missed it, I'm sorry. Uh, scrolling through the pictures though, it did say josh3ddesign.com. I did put that into my browser and it just said the site wasn't available. So I would rather have gotten these from the actual designer, but I ended up ordering them from AliExpress. Now, with all that housekeeping out of the way, let me show you how we printed this. I believe it was printed with uh, 20.2 millimeter layer height, 50% infill. I did it on the Tronxy and it is turned out to be a really nice looking print. However, I did the version ones, which are these guys right here. And these tongs that fit in there were a little loose. So there's actually a nice little PDF that comes with the file that, um, says that if you get the version two prongs, which I believe these are, then you need to print the version two. So I reprinted it in the orange, which I actually, I think I actually like the orange really nicely. It's, it's, it is, it's not Prussia orange. It is, um, what orange is it? It is CC tree and it is the PLA S, the strong PLA. Is that what it's called? Yeah. ST PLA. That's what it is. So it's really, really nice. So I'm going to tell you about um, hot ends now, I guess. So this is a heat block tool. Why do you need a heat block tool? Well, generally what you do is you'll grab a pair of pliers or something and you'll try to hold your heat block and then you'll grab a wrench or something and you will try to loosen your nozzle. Now the, the pliers tend to mar, damage and scratch your heat block. This is supposed to hold it firmly enough so you can undo your nozzle without causing damage to your heat block. So 
like keep locks are if you get the clones they're not that bad they're probably two three bucks each but when you start getting like the original e3d ones and stuff they start getting a little bit more expensive so you want to take care of them well you want to take care of your printers in general anyways the better maintained your printer the better taken care of the better prints you're going to get the longer you're going to have it before you have to do more maintenance or heavy maintenance on it like rebuilding hot ends etc okay so yeah this little tool here is built in order to hold your hot end while you remove your nozzle. That's specifically what this tool is for. And I think it's going to do a good job. So let's take a second and let's have a look at some hot ends that I have here, okay? This is um, the one that you would typically see in your Troxy or your Creality machines. I think this is an MK8 hot end or MK10. Somebody can correct me on that in the comments. Um, this was my spare for my Troxy. This is a, um, a V6 hot end. This is very common too. I have one of these in the uh, Prusa MK3 and I've converted the Chiron with the same hot end. So that kind of works for me. Um, this is just another spare. This one's a bit newer. So it hasn't been used. The hot end basically will screw off. Um, I have a bag of hot ends here ready to go. Or hot blocks, sorry. Heat blocks. <laughs> um, this is an old, um, this is a V5 hot end. The original one from my Chiron. This one's a little bit different. We're not going to talk about that one. We're just going to get rid of him. <laughs> okay. Um, so here, I'm going to show you some old heat blocks. And as you can see... This one's sort of all chewed up from um, changing the nozzle by grabbing it with a pair of pliers and then changing the nozzle. Um, here, there's a bunch of nozzles. Let's have a look here. So what we're going to do here is your nozzle goes into your heat block. Your heat block goes into, this would be your, um, your heat sink. This would be your throat. Um, they screw together like so, and they screw together like so. And to tighten the nozzle, um, these are seven mils, I believe. Now, honestly, this, I got this at the dollar store. You can use um, a socket. Um, you can use one of the, um, you can use something like this, that's a ratchet to, um, in order to um, do this. I just like this because I actually have an eight and a seven on here and it just really works for me. I found this kit at the dollar store for like two or three bucks. That worked perfectly for me. But yeah, so now back to this. So you have your hot end, you have your heat block, you have your nozzle, you got your throat. So you're gonna tighten all that together. So, all right. That's going to be your assembled hot end. Now what this tool does is when your hot end's in your printer, it allows you to grip it so you can hold it up and then you can unscrew your nozzle, All right? So this is the... Um upside view of my Anycubic Chiron's hot end with this nozzle and its heat block and you can see what I'm doing here is I am um, using the tool for the first time to snug the heat block so before I did this I actually I preheated my nozzle to 230 and I removed all filament so now that it's hot I am gonna attempt to uh, remove the nozzle so it's holding the heat block pretty snug once I figured out the um, logistics of it. I'm a little bit awkward here because of the fact that I'm trying to um, get a view for you guys to see kind of what I'm doing and at the same point in time learning to use this tool. But as you can see it's holding on quite well and I'm able to loosen it. I am going to change a tool right here to see if you guys can get a better view of what I'm doing. So I'm just basically going to take a ratchet and loosen it and you'll see me remove the nozzle and then reattach the nozzle and I'd say this would be a very successful print 
and a successful tool. So we're going to talk about changing nozzles. Why do we need to change nozzles? Well, your nozzles can get clogged. Um, and if you print like some abrasive filament like glow, wood, um, any infused filaments like with the metals, they could, they're abrasive, they can get worn down. So you're going to need to change your nozzles every once in a while. Um, I personally, when I get a clog, I just, I usually just, honestly, I buy a bag of 10 nozzles at a time. They're like, they're really cheap, five, six bucks. I just swap them, I just swap them out. It's the easiest way to do it. That way I'm back printing in no time. But when I do that, it comes at a price. It comes with damage usually to my heat block because I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to go quick. I, I end up, you know, just beating the crap out of them to be honest with you, right? So um, that's why I say this little tool here ends up being a pretty good little lifesaver. I am, um, I'm liking it. I'm using it. I've tried with all my printers so far and it does what I need it to do. It is printed out of PLA and the inside is TPU. Um, so I'm going to see if the PLA, if I start noticing that the, um, the tongs start getting loose because the heat transfers into the PLA. I'll see about that. I don't know. Worst case scenario, I can reprint it in ABS or PETG. And, you know, I'm liking this little guy here. So I'd say this is a solid investment for 10 bucks. Uh, I wish Josh had his site up. If you're out there, if you're watching this video, throw me a comment, shoot me an email. Like this is full credit to you, bud. You, uh, you designed these parts, you designed the tool. I'm just passing along the knowledge. That's all I'm doing, right? So thank you so much. Appreciate it. For 10 bucks, I'd say, you know, this is a good, good enough purchase to make your life a little easier. So you're not fiddling and fighting with your pliers, trying to get them all up there. You know, this just holds on and it does a fairly decent job of doing it, right? So I'm going to um, keep this in my arsenal to help me with my printers. So yeah, so if you like this video, if you like this little tool here, um, you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, please. Leave a like. Um, you want to help me out, purchase some of this stuff. Let me know what you want to buy. If you want to you know, support the channel in any way, feel free to buy me a coffee. Okay, um, until next time, peace out. Take care.